<coughs> One day I was travelling to somebody's house. It was a couple, a married couple. And Jesus said to me, when you get there, ask them uh, to ask me for anything they want. So when I got there, I met them both, went into the house, and I said to them, on the way over, the Lord said to me, ask me, that he wanted you to ask him for anything that you want. And the man laughed, and just treated it as some kind of joke. But the woman didn't, and she took it to heart. That night she asked him, Lord, I want a car. <clears throat> a motor car. The next day some stranger phoned her up and said, God told me to give you the money for the motor car. And by the end of that week she had this motor car. She never drove the motor car. She didn't have a license. And neither did her husband. So it sat outside their house for three years until they sold it. God is the giver of good gifts. The Bible tells us that he has no shadow of changing. He gives good gifts, good gifts. I knew one of the members of my congregation overseas was asked to give a lift home to some a couple, but she had no petrol, and her car was empty, and she was a widow, didn't have money much, and a teacher. And anyway, she agreed to do it by faith in God, and, and, and God filled the tank as they were driving filled it to overflowing so that when she got home it was pouring out of the top of the petrol can. God is a generous God. He gives good gifts, good gifts to people. All you've got to do really is know him and ask. Now selfishness and greed is not the way God operates. The genuine asking brings joy. God provided for me when I was a missionary in Africa. Uh, I would not tell anybody anything that I needed. Um, I only uh, stood before God. The Lord sent me there to this country. I had no money and nobody gave me money. I didn't ask anybody for money. I started a church, just a group, a small group of people and uh, during that first year, I stood in faith, believing that God would provide. And he did. People from around the country started sending me money, people I did not know. And uh, during that whole first year, before there was ever a church group, uh, the money came. Every month or two, extra money from outside uh, of the church. From, but with inside of that country, that African country, I never got supported by anybody. Only the Lord supported me, and He did. I hired, I rented a house for five hundred pounds a month. I, 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 I did what was needed, and God always supplied me with money. The Bible says, "Seek first the kingdom of God, and everything that unbelievers desire will be added to you." I grew up in that Africa and African country. My children grew up. They never lacked anything. Uh, other children got new bicycles. They got new bicycles. I lived by faith, and I continue to live by faith even today. The Lord is my supplier, not man, but the Lord. He uses men. Sometimes he doesn't. Sometimes he just brings it supernaturally. It's up to him, you see. God is your provider, and he promised to provide for you. If you seek the kingdom and don't seek the provision, the money, you can talk to God about it, but don't talk to other people. Why you need to talk to other people about your needs if you've already spoken to God? There is power in the kingdom of God. I see somebody with calcified bones right now, Jesus is healing you. Your bones are arthritic and calcified, and Jesus is healing those bones right now. He's healing them. I see someone with heart disease, and 
he's healing your heart right now. The Lord Jesus Christ says, be healed. I am healing you. I am your healer now and your provider. I see somebody who, who needs student fees and God is bringing them to you now. I see somebody who has an arm that is mis displaced somehow. Maybe it's uh, out of its shoulder socket or something. Something wrong with your arm? Jesus is healing your arm right now. Just receive it. The Lord heals you. The Lord heals you. The Lord heals you. I was doing a radio program in an African country. And I had a word of knowledge from the Lord saying, God side, somebody listening to this broadcast, walk about 20 yards and you'll find some money. And this man did. And he called me later and uh, told me exactly what happened. He went behind a bush and he was desperate for money and I asked God and I answered from God through the radio program. He went behind a bush and found a $20 note and he was provided for. The Lord brings money. He is not short of money. It's us that are short of faith to believe him for the money. But God himself brings the money. And I've lived by faith for 25 years. I never ask anybody for money. I never ask even the congregation. that I, When I do churches, I never ask them for money. I don't ask them for anything, you see, because it's they're not my supplier. God is my supplier, and he's your supplier too. Because he promised in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, that if you sought the kingdom, he would provide everything you need. Everything. School fees, clothes, houses, cars, whatever it is that you need, he would provide. Now, either he's lying or his promise is true. It is conditional. It's conditional that you don't seek the things you need, but that you seek God and his kingdom. We have been given life. I have got life. I speak words from God. I am a man of God. I speak from God. I speak to you from God, from the Almighty God, whom I serve. Jesus called me many years ago, appeared to me, and told me to go and do a ministry for him. And I've been doing that ever since. I've been doing that ever since. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Be blessed.